Hey guys, and welcome to the video, and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, last week's vlog was a very big one, wasn't it? One thing I am really, really enjoying is getting up early hours in the morning, and coming out here, and seeing a wonderful, like, sky in the morning. Just look at the sky. It's got some sort of a ripple effect with the clouds. And it's things like that that you never get to see when you're literally, gotta get up, gotta get to work, go to work, come home. Do this, do that. You don't get to see those small little things. When I moved in with Yvonne, there's things in this area that obviously I didn't notice, right? Why is that like that? She goes, it's always been like that. And I'm like, it has. Oh, okay. Anyway, guys, I've got some good news. I've got myself a new phone, which is a Galaxy A12. And I've still got my old phone. Now, my old phone was the one that was doing all the time-lapse videos. And I've always had this issue is... When it rains, you know, I can't stick my phone out. I want to be able to capture this, that, and that, right? But I thought, you know what? I'm going to go out and get myself a case for it. So it's now got its own case. It's all waterproof, shockproof, and everything like that. However, me and Yvonne's got to go and do some shopping and some bits of bobs around town. So what do you reckon to my new hat there, guys? It's very pointy, isn't it? I really struggle when it comes to picking out anything that I want to have, like, clothes-wise. It's like... You just asked me, you know, what do I like the look of in this yeah. area? And I'm like, well, I like the look of this. I like the look of this. And she's like, yeah, but it's not in your size. And I'm like, well, you didn't ask me what size. You said, what do I like the look of in this area? So it's one of those things where you go shopping, you're like, I like the look of that. I like the look of this. And this, oh, drats, they ain't got it in my size. Or, you know, is there anywhere I can get it in my size type thing? Well, Yvonne just popped into Boots to get some medication. And I'm going to be funny. You cannot come into Rougie Town without looking at the brook. So beautiful seeing this, and it's really strange how close that is to this. So here we are, we're at Brooks Square here now. That water literally flows from underneath all of this area here. <laughs> oh my god, guys, that was absolutely awesome. I thought that she would never even realize that I was recording. And her face now, look at this face. She's like, uh oh, I've been sprung. Somebody's in trouble. <gasps> and I don't know what it is inside of the wash machine. It seems to be some sort of a pattern, like um, maybe sort of squared pattern, something inside. But anyway, guys, um, I'm about to actually pop back out. We've ordered some tools from Screwfix. So uh, if you haven't watched the uh, vlog from last week, to give you a catch up, I not only made this, I painted this drain cover. I've also put new pipes in. I then laid these slabs down a little bit more level in this area here and put a weed killer there. And then whilst I was out here, I also then looked at this area and um, I removed quite a lot of this uh, stuff off here. So that's why I need to go and get these tools in order to help me get that off. Oh my God, guys, these clouds today have been changing. It's been getting lighter, darker, lighter, darker. But look with the sun just over there. Oh, that is so cool. I think you can see a little bit of sun rays there. I'm not too sure. I am now off to uh, screw fixed. And also I need to pop into town again to see if Wilkinson's have got um, a cat bowl. Well, unfortunately, guys, um, Wilkinson's didn't have the cat food bowl that I wanted. So I'm heading up further, um, sort of into the end of town now to see if they've got anything over there, like a shop has got something in there. Unfortunately, there's nowhere open at the moment, or I don't believe there's anywhere in Rouge it will be selling a cat food bowl at this time. I'm heading home now, and to be truthfully honest, I am going to have a nice relaxing evening. Oh, we're having a bit of rain now, guys. So I'm just getting my uh, other phone switched on now. Alrighty guys, we are now fully set up. I've set the camera up facing this direction. And the reason is, is because when I've been stood in this room here and I look out the window, I get to see the water drop off the leaves of the trees. So Do I hear a girly? She's just came in guys, so uh, I wonder if she's a bit wet. Ooh, yes. We actually do have a towel, just purely, there you go. It's just to take off the bit of a dampness or... Well guys, I can honestly say that that time-lapse video that I set the camera up doing was absolutely perfect. I managed to capture the rain droplets coming off the tree, a little bit of wind, and also you got to see the clouds in the distance sort of scrolling through, and it was absolutely beautiful. I am feeling quite nervous right now. Um, me and Yvonne are off uh, in a bit to go and get our second 
second COVID jab. And I don't know how you are feeling, Yvonne, but I am feeling absolutely mm. nervous right now. And considering last time I fainted, I don't really want to be fainting this time. It's like the yellow brick road. <laughs> It's my time now to have my injection and these kind, lovely nurses have uh, said that I could record this. Let's do this. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. I am going to look away though. Okay, sharp scratch. Oh, there you go, that goes in. Go I actually on. felt that, that's really strange. I didn't actually, that's not too bad. There you go. None of us fainted. Oh, I feel absolutely a lot better this one than I did the first jab. How do you feel? Did you feel anything? Um, I actually didn't feel the needle this time, so spot well, That's a good spot. Yeah, good result on that one. All right, guys, we have a bit of a pit stop. We have to uh, look for this cat bowl. I have been looking everywhere in Rusley, so I'm hoping that Home Bargains have got it. Absolutely no cat food bowls at all. That's literally everywhere I could think of in Rusley. We sell a cat food bowl. Oh, my God, guys. It is so foggy today. You can't really see it on camera, honestly, but it is foggy here. It's literally my last day of my holiday today. But I'll tell you something, my friggin' arm this morning, it hurts like crazy. I can lift it up there and it starts getting a bit sort of like, oof, barely had any sleep, honestly, guys. So I feel like I'm a walking zombie right now. All right, guys, it's that time now to say goodbye to Yvonne. She's now off to work. And what's it been like having uh, nine days off on really your holiday? Good. You really good. Really good, yeah. Good holiday? Certainly, yes. Well, that's always a positive result there, guys. Well, bye-bye, Yvonne. You have bye a good bye. shift. Bye and bye. we'll uh, catch up with her a bit later, guys. However, me and you are going into town because I have not found a replacement cat bowl yet but I've looked everywhere and there's a few places that Yvonne was telling me the other day um, that to go to look at and I totally forgot so we're heading towards Morrison's now and seeing uh, if they've got any cat bowls and I'm hoping that a place called Creature Comfort is open if not I'm gonna have to definitely go on eBay all right guys we are now in Morrison's and now time to see if we can find a cat bowl if I was a cat bowl where would I be nothing here this is so peculiar guys it looks like we are now off to uh, creature comforts to see if they have any bowls which is so nice to be able to walk up here and have that oh, that is just so awesome there should be more things like that around to be honest more people come out play their instruments because i believe that music is like a piece of art in a sense you know you make something sound really really nice tranquil you know perfect beats and such so yeah that was nice spot on it was great to come to creature comforts but guess what they've actually got cat food bowls and they seem to be the only one in rougie that does so we have now a choice of colors and you know me i'm definitely looking at the green um selection of these bowls so i was just about to pay for these bowls and i didn't realize that there was two cats oh you're so cute What's the name of the uh, black one here? Thanos. Thanos. What's the name of this one? Hello. Hello, wow. Not only we managed to get cat food bowls, we actually got to see cats. How awesome is that? I am feeling so positive right now, guys, because the guys at Creature Comforts really, really made me feel so on top of the world. And the reason why is they recognized me and they were like, we recognize you, we see your stuff on Facebook. People are seeing the stuff that I get to share and the beauty that is around us is absolutely awesome. Wow, the weather today has definitely changed and i got to be honest, this morning was absolutely freezing and now it's that warm that I've lost my t-shirt, guys. I am waiting for Yvonne to finish work and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what sort of day she's had. There she is. I think I might speed this part up. Bonnie back again. Hi. So how was your first day back? Very good. Very good? Excellent, yeah. Was it busy? It was a steady flow. Yeah. So you would say that's a good thumbs up for your first yes, day back? Yes, definitely. Well yes. that's awesome guys, that's good to hear. So my first day back is tomorrow, so me and Yvonne is going to head on home now. I think I'm going to carry on doing my little bit of editing and uh, enjoy the rest of uh, my day and uh, look forward to uh, tomorrow. 
It's just so dark this morning. It almost feels like it's like three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, but it's not. It's like literally coming up to six o'clock in the morning and it's literally pitch black sky. So uh, it shows that winter is definitely on its way. It's my first day back off my holidays. I'm quite excited, nervous. There's always that feeling when you go back to work after being off for a while and you're like, oh, you're a bit kind of like nervous, um, excited, a bit like, it's a strange feeling. Well guys, I can honestly say my first day back went extremely well. I've got Yvonne some nice flowers there. I hope she likes those because there's nothing wrong with uh, giving your lady some flowers and it doesn't have to be a special occasion. <laughs> oh, Yvonne. Lovely. Oh, there she is. Told you she likes them. I do. It's not nice as well. I'm going to go chill with Yvonne a bit and I've got a lot of things to catch up with. So, uh, wow, what a crazy day. Wow, guys, the weather today is absolutely awesome. I am looking forward to the future and maybe, hopefully, getting more adventures to the channel. I have been really, really stressed recently and I am trying my best to make as best content for everyone. And um, if you don't like my channel and such like that, there, you know, I'm not being funny, there's plenty of other channels to watch. So please feel free to stay and please feel free to leave. It's entirely up to you, the choice is yours. However, guys, today, me and Yvonne here, Hello. are going to be doing our weekly shop. So uh, we got to go in Tesco's first and then we're going to be popping into town. This is absolutely madness, guys. I've never seen this before in a packet. We have one solitary white egg there, but the rest of them are not like that. I just find that really fascinating, what a find that was today. And all I was doing is my weekly shop. But anyway, as you can see, there's Yvonne just behind us. She's uh, looking for some bargains. We're literally halfway through doing the shopping. So anyway, we're gonna carry on now. We have now finished our shopping at Tesco's and we're going to Creature Comforts because Yvonne came up with an idea that how cool would it be to have a new set of bowls. Now last time we went and got green, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what color she chooses this time. All right, so what ones are you uh, wanting? How ironic there is only three left of those. That is absolutely awesome. Well guys, we are back inside Creature Comforts and I must admit this place is really unique. Very, you know, how would you describe it? Um, cute. But why? Uh, Have you seen that wall just over there? Wow, the look at that. That is very unique there. You don't see that very much in uh, shops nowadays. And we cannot come into town without visiting the brook, guys. I tell you something, people of Ruji is lucky to have this in their town because where I grew up, we had nothing like this at all. So before we go off and do our bit of shopping, I wanted to quickly tell you there is going to be an adventure video coming to the channel this Friday called Marcus's Drive. And I've got to confess, I'm going to be going back there and looking over that area so much more in the future. Unfortunately, this is where I'm going to have to love and leave you for this week's vlog. So I really do hope you have enjoyed it. So I want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you guys that has came by and watched it. It means the world to me. And also so do your best guys to stay positive and screw this negative and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye easy bye.